You sit on your computer, you turn on YouTube, and this ad pops up. A guru telling you how to start up an online business, dropshipping, Amazon FBA, anything. These online gurus have millions of people watching them every single day, seeing what they eat, where they fly, who they hang out with, everything. All while making millions from their followers. So in this video, I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes and teach you about the three types of funnels that make all of these gurus rich, then I'm going to show you how you can infiltrate their business by becoming a skill-based contractor. So instead of you paying these gurus to learn from them like everyone else does, you'll learn how to get them to pay you instead. And I'm not making this stuff up just for clickbait or anything. I've personally been able to infiltrate these online gurus businesses and have built all three types of these funnels for them that ended up selling millions. This is why I've been able to speak on some of the biggest stages next to all these business legends. So the first thing that you guys have to understand is all of these gurus make their money from selling their information. But this isn't anything new. People have been selling information way before these online gurus. We just didn't have the level of distribution that we have today. So if we go back in time, the information that people exchanged or bought was through stories or scrolls. Like if you want to go way back in time, that's how it was done. But then when the printing press was invented in the 1400s, the distribution channel became newspapers and books. The gurus of back then were the authors. And then you fast forward to the 20th century. We see the rise of radio and TV. These were the distribution channels of that time educating and entertaining the masses for whoever owned the press or media. But then came the game changer, social media. These billion dollar algorithms suddenly allowed everyone to have a platform, a radio tower of their own to broadcast their message to the masses. So back to the point of gurus selling information. So there's three types of funnels that gurus use to make money. The VSL funnel, the group funnel, and the webinar funnel. I'm gonna show you guys on my iPad right now and I'm gonna do a full masterclass so you guys understand exactly what this looks like and then I'm gonna show you how to infiltrate it by becoming a skill-based contractor. So let's get into it. All right, so the first funnel I wanna talk about is the VSL funnel. How the VSL funnel works is the content creator, the guru will drive traffic to an opt-in page where he'll collect their emails and phone numbers and then drive them to a VSL, a video sales letter, where they watch a video for uh, about an hour and they get the full download of the product and service in the program and then they fill out an application then the next part after the application is they get to make a booking with either a setter or a closer if the application is higher grade it's going to go directly to a closer if it's a low quality application it'll go to a setter setter will qualify them further if it's a good quality then they'll go closer deals made Boom, onboarding, boom. That's the typical VSL funnel. This is what all the online gurus use if they're spending money on advertisement, if they're driving traffic, they're gonna drive all this traffic to a VSL funnel that's gonna get calls for the sales team and convert it. And I'm gonna show you guys later on exactly what type of skill-based contractor you can become so that you can make money off of this type of funnel. Now the next funnel, the webinar funnel. This is a funnel that requires heavy marketing and tech skill sets and less sales skill sets. So same thing with the other one, there's traffic. So social media advertisement goes to an opt-in page, which goes to a webinar. A webinar can be live or pre-recorded, and it can be anywhere from one hour to like four hours long. Uh, this can also be in like a coaching or a challenge type of funnel where people are doing three day, four day challenges. And then at the end of the webinar, there's a checkout link, automated checkout link. Once the people buy, they get onboarded. And then once they're going through inside the program, they can potentially go for further upsells down the road, which can take anywhere from like two weeks to like 10 weeks or longer. If people didn't buy, they go and become an abandoned checkout lead. And this is typically when there's a sales team there to do outbound to recoup some of those lost sales or abandoned sales. So that's the webinar funnel. The final funnel uh, is a group funnel slash Instagram funnel. And this funnel is used to nurture the audience and a lot of the traffic here is actually organic. You don't necessarily need to run a lot of traffic like the VSL funnel and the webinar funnel here. If you have organic views coming in through TikTok to through Instagram reels, through low cost Facebook advertisements, what you can do is then drive all of this traffic inside a free group on Facebook or school or your Instagram. And what happens then is you use this community, your Instagram page or this group, 
as a source to nurture all of these leads where they're in a curated environment where you're giving them value but you're also showing a lot of testimonies and over time you deliver more impressions uh, to these people inside your group and they start trusting you more uh, they start believing you more they start getting more product knowledge and as soon as the nurturing level is like they're nurtured enough what happens is they'll have some call to actions inside of their Instagram stories or their posts or their feed posts inside the group or school communities which will sound kind of like hey I'm taking on five new students or I'm taking on 10 new students to join my coaching program all you gotta do is comment coaching call below and I'll DM you and so what, what happens then is because the trust factor is so much higher now because of the nurturing inside of this curated group a setter will go and communicate with them through the dms or on a phone call or whatever and then the setter will qualify these people and if they're financially qualified and they're the right fit for their business they'll get on a sales call with the closer if they buy obviously they'll get onboarded uh, which they'll potentially be able to uh, upsell other products down the road as well the people that don't buy because for whatever reason they can go back into the nurturing pipeline with the setters and then they can kind of go through this process again so now that you know the three types of funnel that makes all of these gurus rich i'm going to take you guys behind the scenes of their businesses so i can show you how you can infiltrate their business as a skill-based contractor this is the creator this business cannot work without any of these functions of the business which requires a workforce like you and me to make it work and this is where we get paid for the work that we do so right here i have marketing sales fulfillment and tech and marketing and sales are colored green because those are the money makers if you want to get paid as a skill-based contractor these two are the main skill sets that you need to learn to start getting paid so the purpose of marketing is to generate traffic and conversions okay the goal is to create traffic and convert that traffic and these are the roles that make it happen first is the media buyer so this person is responsible for running the advertisement on platforms such as Google, Instagram, Facebook, Meta, TikTok, whatever you want to call it, any place that can run advertisements. These are the people behind the scenes spending the money to generate that traffic. The next skill set that they'll need is someone that's a copywriter, uh, someone that's going to be able to write every single word that helps convert the people watching their stuff. So their advertisements, the scripts, right? their YouTube videos, their content on their landing pages, their VSLs, right? All the video sales letter, the webinars, all the presentations that they do. Every single thing is scripted to drive conversions from this audience. And now the copywriters, they have to be super skilled and they get paid the big bucks, just like the media buyers. Then there's the content writers writing blog posts, SEO posts, captions on their Instagram, uh, the basic type of content not necessarily to convert traffic but to generate more viewership and then there's also the influencer marketers and affiliate marketers and so these are people that get paid uh, instead of the creator being the face all the time sometimes just get a UGC creator content creator to then drive traffic and these are the routes that you can take now for marketing the barrier to entry is a little bit higher the skill set to understand media buying copywriting content writing affiliate marketing influencer marketing there is a big jump before you can get started. You need to build that experience and expertise before someone's gonna hire you. Now, for the path that I took, which was sales, the barrier to entry was super low, right? I was a 21 year old dropout who didn't even speak English that well. Maybe I still don't, <laughs> but anyways, I was able to make it work because all you needed to do was be someone who can convince and persuade people and speak English. Now, the purpose of sales is to drive revenue. And you can do that by being a setter. The setters are kind of like the qualifiers. If there's lots of people coming through the channel, coming through the marketing channels, a setter is going to be one to sort those leads out and be like, hey, this one's good. You guys should sell this one. This one's not too good. Let's not waste your time on that one. So that's what a setter does. Then there's the closer. And this is someone who closes the deals, right? Then there's setter managers, people who manage the whole setter team then sales managers who manages manage the entire sales team, and then sales director who manages the entire sales function and the strategy behind that, which is what I do. But I've done all of these roles. Sales, again, is the path that I took, and I learned this skill like just by experiencing it, leveling up, understanding the game, and anyone can learn this. And if you guys want me to teach it, just subscribe, comment below, and I'll teach you guys because 
uh, I can't teach you guys marketing because I haven't really done it, but I can teach you guys sales. Now, these are the two functions that drive traffic and convert revenue, which is why they're green and they get paid the most. Like I've said in my other videos, you get to benefit from all the hard work that the content creator has done. They've built an entire operation to take people from random strangers to buying the products, spending thousands of dollars on their stuff. Just by providing one little service of marketing and sales, right? You get to benefit from all of this work. And that's how you infiltrate their business. Now, if you're not a good marketer or a salesperson, or you, you know, you don't have the skill sets, or for whatever reason you don't feel comfortable doing these things because you might suck at it, there is still more behind the scenes work that you can do. And that's where fulfillment and tech comes in. The goal of fulfillment is to have student success and retention. So once marketing does their job and sales do their job, now we gotta make sure that they're happy and they're fulfilled. So that's where success and retention comes in. Now, within the fulfillment function, there's community managers. So people inside the community that are making sure the community is happy, right? They're the, they're the vibe tribe. They get people going, commenting, posting, and create a lively crowd. Those are the community managers. Then uh, there's the account managers. These guys from the fulfillment team probably get paid the most. The account managers is responsible for the student's success inside of the program. So the people that will be with that student for two months, three months, four months straight, to make sure that they're following the, pro following the program, they have all their questions answered, and they know where to go for what. And so these account managers can also be responsible for selling uh, more products down the road just because they've built that relationship with that student. Then there's a coach, so someone who is an expert in the service that they're already selling. So let's say I wanna work for an Amazon guru and he's teaching Amazon, doing all the hard work, creating the ads, but I have Amazon expertise as well, but I don't wanna do all of that hard work. I can go in and be like, hey, Mr. Amazon, I have experience here too. I can work for you and support your students by being a coach. So you don't have to do the coaching and I can do that instead. So there's money in that. And then there's the support, which is, you know, just supporting students. Then comes tech, right? None of this works without the tech working. The tech's job is to create systems that allow the business to scale. And that happens through automation, reporting, and analytics. And the tech people are literally the people that, again, make it all work, and it doesn't work without this function. Tech can be outsourced to, you know, third world countries, low cost countries, but a good tech person can get paid really, really well as well. And then the other functions are obviously the more corporate functions that uh, you need to have degrees and education for, which is finance, legal and hr but they don't even get paid that much this is where the real money's made sales and marketing so now that you guys know the functions of these businesses you understand the funnels that they're coming from and now you understand the workforce that's required to make these businesses work now what you can do is learn these skill sets become a skill-based contractor reach out to these online gurus who are making millions already and go up to them and be like hey I have this expertise, I have this skill set, and I wanna help your business grow, and now you can infiltrate the business and get paid instead of you paying them. So that's it, thanks for watching. Comment below, like, subscribe, see you next one.